you and Alan, when you look back, had some unbelievable success at the, the Cheltenham Festival. And you, do you feel that you rode better there than anywhere else? Or was that just a, the, the circumstances going into it that you had some great horses for the, for, for the, for the years that you rode winners there? I don't know whether I rode better there than... You certainly rose to the occasion, but I think, I think everybody does, don't they? If they're, if they're not rising to the occasion, they shouldn't be there. But it, I'm sure it can, it, can, it can fall both ways, can't it? You can rise to the occasion, but the, the pressure cauldron that is the Cheltenham Festival, equally, you, know, you, you, you look back at a, a litany of jockeys who, who had years where they struggled there as well, and they came away thinking, oh, there were some jockeys who used to say, I hate this week because yeah. you're under so much pressure. Yeah, right, I did hear that. Um, I, and I have heard, and I won't mention any names, jockeys say that in the past, that they hated the place. Um, I don't know, I just I fell in love with it at a, a, a very, very young age. Um, but how old were you with the first winner there? I was 17, actually. Um, I, my first win at the festival, I was 18, but I was <laughs> I was fortunate enough to ride my first ever winner under rules at Cheltenham, um, the October meeting, in an, an amateur race for Robin Dickin, uh, what's called Casey's Dancer. And I don't know, it, it just it just had an affinity with the place. So, um, it's local. Um, loved riding around there. Um, very good horses. It just all fell into into place. I mean, we, you've also got to remember the time spans that between '97 and 2004. You, I, I couldn't buy a winner there, so um, it is a difficult place to 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 succeed. You so you're 18 when you rode. You, you rode two winners. Two winners, yeah. Um, King Lucifer and the Kim Muir, as an amateur for for David Nicholson for the Duke. Um, God rest his soul, and far and near straight after in the in what is now uh, the Potemps, then it was the Gold Card um, final, and on the, they were both on the Tuesday. So, um, yeah, two. So it would, it would have been slightly one. different now because there would it wouldn't have been in, in such quick succession. But then it, it came along pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came, it came, came along, bang, bang, and um, yeah, I walked away from that thing, and I could walk on water. Um, the following years between between then, so the following seven year period, you realised that um, it was tougher than I'd first thought. So was that that first winner there was for the Duke? Yeah. And the last was for, was for Alan? And the, the last one I ever had was for Alan King. Yeah. And that's quite, I mean, given the connection between the three of you, that works out quite so simply. Yeah, yeah, simply. Um, it's quite poignant. And I think um, the Duke definitely looked after us when we were, when we were riding and when we were working. and he, I, He's probably still looking after us a bit now. We we actually talked about before we get into the the, the, the grade ones you rode there. You had a really good record in, in now what is now called the ultimate, what I really know as the ultimate, but it's a festival trophy handicap chase, that, that three wire handicap. You rode three winners in that. Three winners in that, yeah. Um Fork Lightning, which was um first winner at the festival for Alan. Um I can remember I can remember the, the, the previous season being there and we'd been placed in something that, that I probably thought should have won or, or could have won or whatever and I can remember wantonly looking at the number one spot and Kingy just gave me a nudge he said don't worry we'll get there um, and he wasn't wrong um, yeah, he's, so he's quite good at being patient isn't he publicly yes um, probably behind the scenes less so mm. but um, and, and he, he's probably even better now at being patient but he was, he was fantastic fantastic to ride for fantastic judge um, yeah, so the first one was was Fort Lightning, and that sort of struck us struck us off in the right direction. He was a novice. He was a novice, yeah. And then you, the second one, you were one for Duman in that as well. But Ben Salem was the the next one you were for Kingy in that race. Yeah, your last festival winner. Yeah. Um, now he wasn't. You put me right on this because he wasn't a novice, he was he? But he was the year before when he would have won, but he came down. Or you came down. Yeah, he was the he was the the year before he'd won he'd won a novice chase at Plumpton, so he was actually going for that the bonus as well. I think that covers the handicaps. I think it does. Yeah. And um, there's not many horses you walk around at the start and think it doesn't really matter what I do, especially in a race of, of that calibre and, and, and of, of being that competitive. Um, and unfortunately, I, mean, I got a great run through the race. He travelled fantastically, I came down to the, the second last. And he, was a, he wasn't the best. Um, uh, he was a good jumper, but he, he, he'd get himself in a situation in between horses. He'd panic a little bit, um, and, and we'd have a bit of a brain freeze, and he might run into one, or the landing gear it wouldn't come down. Um, and he, he ran into the second last, which you just cannot do. When the second last was round the corner, which you cannot do, and he, um, yeah, we fell flat in the face, which... Um, Would you one? Yeah, definitely, yeah, 100%. I mean, it was one of those situations where I thought, walking around at the start, that I had £10 in hand. Um, and it, it really, really didn't matter what I did. 
Well, I mean, that's obviously gutting when that happens, I suppose. Not yet. Yes, for you, for everyone at home, for, for the fact that you feel like you would have... Were you a sort of, you know, chuck the stick on the floor, angry sort of type when that happens, or did you just get on with it? I can't remember what I, what I did. Um, I possibly did throw... I know I could be an angry little man, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I got very angry. Um, but I can't remember what I did, but I was, I was mortified for, for the owners. We'd had a period of time... Um, where we hadn't had a me myself and Alan. Alan had had a festival when Wayne had, had ridden um would won the Grand Annual on Oak Creek, but I, I hadn't had a winner for Kingy at the festival for a period of time and But you did put it right the following year. Yeah and 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 and, and, and Alan sing his praises because he's then played a long game. Um he ran the horse over hurdles then for the for twelve months. Um t till the following following uh, I think am I right in saying it was a William Hill at the time. Or the spinal research and um, kept the mark. He ran off exactly the same mark. And walking around at the start, I was for the following year. I was slightly more apprehensive because of what had happened the time before. But you were getting to the second last as well. Yeah, <laughs> the second last had been moved, so that helped me. And um, um, I was off the same mark, and I, and I, I was 100% sure that I had at least 10 pound in hand. And we actually jumped off last. We were we, we were a long way off the pace, early doors, crept through the race. It all went to plan. Mm. All went to plan.